Good morning, fellow map hunters. Good morning. So today we decided we're gonna go on a photography date around Boston. So before we go get coffee, I'm gonna share with you the camera gear that we will be bringing along with us. I'm gonna put on my coffee pot. I'm gonna be bringing my camera body, which is the Nikon DX3300. And then I'm also going to be bringing two lenses. One's more for landscapes and one is for portraits. This portrait lens is a 50 milliliter lens and I'm obsessed with it. It takes beautiful photos and you're about to see why I like it. I got the croissant sandwich, which is $9, so it's a little expensive, but it looks really good. We got some scrambled eggs in here, tomatoes, some arugula, and it looks like some guacamole in there as well. So that's pretty good. Oh, it's actually really good. Do you like something with feta? Yeah. This way. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so now we're headed to the Isabel Gardner Museum, which is a beautiful private art collection, and we've seen some good pictures of it. We haven't been there ourselves, but I think we're gonna be able to take some really good shots there. So let's go. This is the Isabella Gardner Museum, which was opened in the early 1900s. You can see how beautiful it is. This was a private art collector that opened this up. And she was a huge fan of the Italian Renaissance. And you can see, obviously, she styled her private museum off of an Italian Renaissance house. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at this courtyard. You can see just how beautiful it is. And it's covered by a sort of greenhouse awning, so you can come here during all seasons. So it's a perfect spot to visit Boston and a great photographer spot. So we've just been focusing on taking photos for the first book before doing the vlog. Um, and we've been just trying to find the best angles and the best shots on how to do it. And so a lot of them is just trying to think outside the box. Instead of just standing in front of a beautiful scene and just having it in the background, really try and find those fun angles. So one of the shots that we just did was shooting through one window across the scene into another window. There's a beautiful architecture and the way that the windows are set up are just fantastic. So putting the main subject myself in the window is just a very like pleasant thing to look at in a creative way of capturing the whole space and yourself in the image. Now we're off to the world famous Acorn Street to get some very classic Boston shots. So I know someone's excited. I've been wanting to see this since like we arrived, which was what, half a year ago now? This is like the top photographic spot in Boston. Here we go. Where are we right now? We are at Park Street T Station and we're about to see beautiful Boston Commons. Walk across Boston Commons and go to Acorn Street. Acorn Street. It is one of the most photographed spots in all of Boston. It's located in the Beacon Hill area, which is a little bit off the of Boston Commons. And as you can see, it is a huge destination for tourists to come and take amazing photos. Between the beautiful brick houses, the old historic flags, and the awesome cobblestone that lines this road, it just makes for a really artistic East Coast picture.
So that about wraps up our photography day in Boston for today. I think we got some great photos today. I think so too. We yeah, saw some you really cool see, places. Yeah, if you want to see any of the photos, please go check out our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. All of the images will be posted there in the coming weeks. Yep. And we will make sure to also put it into our website, which is themattpinners.com, yep. if you'd like to see them there. Yeah, so thanks again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.